You moved your infrastructure to the cloud. Now you need zero trust. I'm Avi from RightClick. I'm going to explain to you why zero trust is the model you need in securing your data in the cloud. The first principle of zero trust is to verify explicitly. In the old model, imagine a castle and a moat, and you would log in once, you would get access to the network, and then you could kind of access your resources as needed. We don't have that castle in the moat anymore. Workers are working from home. We have various offices around the world. Whenever a user is accessing a new resource that they haven't accessed before, they need to verify explicitly. Second, device health checks. Make sure your devices, whether mobile, laptop, or workstations are patched and updated. Then you want access policies. You want to know if your employees are accessing it from a regular location or if they're somewhere else in the world. You want to be notified of that ahead of time so you're aware. Least privilege. We inherited this from the old security model. This means configuring your security permissions to give users access to only the data and apps they need to do their job. No more, no less. Lastly, assume breach. This puts the zero and zero trust. You want to assume that you've already been hacked and operate from a model that the hacker has very limited access to your data and to your network. Assume that you've already been breached and build your defenses accordingly. This means monitoring and reporting, network segmentation, and a vigorous incident response plan. All of this can sound complicated and distressing. It doesn't need to be. At right click, we make zero trust easy. Call us for a free consultation.